Hi everyone, welcome back to another tutorial by IT Conflict Computer Repair in Austin, Texas. And today I'm going to be talking about the Windows 7 display properties. We're going to be setting up two um, external monitors so you can have multiple displays or an extended desktop. So let's begin. Before I go any further, I want to explain that this tutorial is very similar to Windows XP and Windows Vista operating systems. It's all generally within the same area, so once you get to this screen, um, uh, uh, screen settings, you'll be able to figure out exactly what you need to do to get this all working for you. So I'm going to assume that you have a, a dual head card, which means it has um, dual output, a VGA and DVI or VGA to HDMI or, or whatever the output is, but I'm going to assume that you have a dual output card and that you have two monitors already set up, already plugged in, already configured. So let's assume that that's already been taken care of and let's assume you've already installed the drivers. All we need to do is just get it set up correctly where screen one is identified as screen one and screen two. So let's begin. To get to the screen adapter settings and to get all this configuration going, all you need to do is anywhere on your empty desktop, a blank space, you're going to right click and go to screen resolution. Now in two clicks we're already where we need to be to set this up. If you guys see on my screen you're gonna see that I actually have a tri monitor set up and the way this is actually set up is I have a dual output dual head card which is a a, a uh, graphics card that has two outputs uh, two video outputs in this case it's VGA and DVI and you'll see my screen one screen two now what is this screen three screen three for me is a external card that I used it's called a USB to VGA very simple spent about 27 bucks on it at Fry's which is a local uh, electronics retailer here in Austin and it, it's all controlled through software it works brilliantly it does exactly what I wanted to do and it gave me the opportunity to have three monitors without making the additional cost of a brand new graphics card with uh, three video outputs so that saved me quite a bit of money um, so we're gonna work with two screens today because I'm assuming that you guys have you want to set up a dual desktop and the way we're gonna do this is first thing you want to do is select your primary desktop and the way you can tell is if you click identify it'll actually tell you what screen number you're on so if you want this to be screen one and you want it to be you know, in the middle on the left hand side or the right hand side, you would just move it like that. Screen 1 is going to have your taskbar, your start menu and all that. So that's where you want screen 1 to be. If your main desktop, if your main display is going to be in front of you and your secondary display is going to be on the left hand side, this is the setup you're going to follow. If your primary desktop, your main display which has your taskbar is going to be on the left of you, then you would just click and hold and drag it over to the left hand side. So I'm going to go back to the original settings I had just like that. Once I've adjusted screen 1 and screen 2 I'm going to have screen 1 set to be my current display and it'll actually have this checkbox here and this checkbox is already checked for me on screen 1 so let's assume that I just checked that under multiple displays you want it to extend desktop to this display that's an okay setting the resolution for this screen is 1920 by 1080 which is the highest uh, that my graphics card and my screen display will support and if we go to our secondary display I'm going to set this one to be multiple displays extend desktop to this display the resolution that's supported on this output on, on this monitor is only 1680 by 1050 so I lost some res points there. The orientation is how you want the screen to be laid out whether it's landscape or portrait depending on what you're looking at. In this case I'm going pretty standard and keeping it landscape. And once that's all set up all you need to do is click apply and OK and once that's been clicked you want to test it by clicking identify and if you've set everything up correctly and you follow this tutorial uh, you should your screen should display screen one and screen two on your secondary display alright guys just to recap we just set up um, a dual display I've showed you guys how to configure the monitor settings and uh, the display properties on Windows 7 
If you have any questions, please leave them on our YouTube comment section. That's youtube.com forward slash IT conflict. We're on Facebook. That's facebook.com forward slash IT conflict. And we're also on Twitter, twitter.com forward slash IT conflict. Our website is www.itconflict.com. And again, this is Eric with IT Conflict Computer Repair in Austin, Texas. Before I let you guys go, I want to do one quick shout to another website, a project that I'm personally working on. It's called TechNation.org. It's a social networking, a social networking website for tech enthusiasts, tech hobbyists, anyone that is involved or would like to be involved with tech. You'll find a lot of information there. The site's going to be live as of March 15th. You can sign up today. It's still in beta version, but at least you can get a profile set up, check out the forums, and anything else. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.